Ladies and gentlemen, this Yankees loss was sponsored by Star Insurance. Be a star and get covered today. What is up, everyone? Uh, this is your boy here, the Yankee Mad Dog Messiah here with you. It's July 31st, 2023, and um, I'm not going to rant on here because we just got one game remaining before the trade deadline. Last night, you lose the series finale. Luis Severino allowed seven runs in the first end inning. Game was already over. Aaron Boone left Severino out there to be further abused before finally getting him in the fourth inning after he allowed his eighth and ninth run. A lot of these teams here, and they're looking to make playoff runs. And they're doing that by, they've already done the heavy lifting. The Yankees, it's the typical New York Yankees. It's why I say this team, this team is so cheap. But yet, Michael K wants to deny that. Michael K wants to deny that on this radio show, say, oh, the Yankees are not cheap. Look at teams like the Angels. The Los Angeles Angels, who are behind the Yankees by a half game, since the end of June, this is what the Angels have done. They traded for veteran infielders, Eduardo Escobar, Mike Moustakas, Starting pitcher Lucas Gelito Lopez, a reliever. And look what they got yesterday. They got Gray Chuck and CJ Cron. They're 55 and 51. They're five games behind the Texas Rangers in the AL West. Four games out of the final wild card spot in the American League. What has this team done? They've activated Aaron Judge, obviously. They've activated Greg Allen and Jake Bowers from the IL. This is exactly why I say that the Yankees... They need to be sellers right now. And I'm about to say this right now. I'm going down with the ship. I'm doing a Kate Winslet from Titanic. I've said that I was on the lifeboat. I jumped out of the lifeboat. And I'm now going on the sinking ship. They need to be open for business. Only. To sell. Because there was news that came out yesterday. That the Marlins have heavy interest in Glaber Torres. But the Yankee asking price has been deemed too high. Now the Yankees are said to be asking for two 25-year-old starting pitchers. A right-hander in Edward Cabrera. And a lefty in Braxton Garrett. Plus two prospects. If the Yankees can get those two pitchers. It is a trade that you have to complete. And with Glaber being traded. This opens a spot for Oswald Peraza. To play the rest of the season. 
Let's see what Oswald Peraza, you know, prove what he can do. Because what the Yankees are going to do, and there's people out there that say, oh, have Oswald Peraza play second base. I disagree with those people out there. Even some Yankee uh, YouTube content creators. Because Oswald Peraza is a shortstop. He's not a second baseman. You got to flip Anthony Volpe from shortstop to second base. And the Yankees can't stop there. See if there is any market for pitchers. Luis Severino, get him out of there. I've already had it with Luis Severino. Domingo Herman. I understand he pitched a complete game. But you know my stance on Domingo Herman. I've said it in the past. Wife beater. Get him out of here. Rondi Parate, it pains me to mention Rondi Parate here. And Harrison Bader, because you're not going to sign Harrison Bader next season. I've already said it once, and I'll say it again. Yankees will not sign him. He's a liability. And not to mention, too, they're all pending free agents. Another guy, and I know this is impossible, Anthony Rizzo. I know he's due uh, $40 million for the rest of this season and next. And he also has a 16 no trade clause. Giancarlo Stanton, get rid of that dude. That was a freaking bad trade right there. And it's so funny I mentioned Giancarlo Stanton. Because I remember years ago, about four years ago, um, when the Yankees had that run in the playoffs in 2019, I've always said, oh, get rid of Giancarlo Stanton. People were all laughing at me. Guess what, people? I'm fucking Nostradamus right here. I knew this guy was going to be bad. And you know what that's going to do? That's going to allow Jake Bowers to play first base rather than put him in the right field. What the Yankees should be doing here, they should be calling the Dodgers and see if they want Chicago. And I know Chicago would be one of the few teams that would rave the no-trade clause for. I know he would want to go to Los Angeles. Because you look at the Dodgers right now. They're in a battle for their division and they need a boost. That puts Mookie Betts. You could move Mookie Betts from right field to second base. And you could put Chicago Stanton at the right field. And I know he's got four years left on his deal. And a trade to a team that he wanted to go to. That was his boyhood team right there. Maybe that could inspire a revelation in his game. And the Yankees, they would likely have to kick in money. But this team right now needs to be... Re you gotta go with a rebuild. I'm sorry. Uh, I agree with every Yankee content creator out there. They have to rebuild. The Yankees have a bullpen... That is among the best. And they could afford to move off a couple of their ops. And I wouldn't be surprised if Rondi Parata, who's going to be a free agent, is going to be a former Yankee by tomorrow. Because this Yankee team right now, 
is going to look very different by 6 o'clock tomorrow night. This is not going to be the World Series playoff contender that we all were dreaming about before the season started. This is going to be the 2016 team. I mentioned it the other day. You're going to have to see the younger players come in. Everson Pereira. Oswald Peraza. They have to learn how to play a major league level as they prepare for 2024. This was an awful season for the Yankees. And it's time to recognize that this is a last place team and not a playoff team. You got to get younger. You got to get more athletic. That's what the Yankees had said that they wanted to do. That was their goal. We want to get younger. We want to get athletic. Trust your eyes, Brian Cashman. Because I guarantee you this. By the end of the season, Aaron Boone, I know you're going to cut the string. And you're going to scapegoat Aaron Boone. It's going to happen. They won't fire Brian Cashman. How Steinbrenner doesn't have the testicular fortitude to fire Brian Cashman. And I'm just going to leave it out there. I know there's people out there. I want to see Cashman fired. Because Brian Cashman has put so many holes in this team. He's got to be another one of those fall guys, but I really doubt it. How Steinbrenner is going to give him a free ride. So all I'm saying is, trust your eyes. Stop listening to these computer geeks out there. You got to get younger. You got to rebuild. Look what the Mets are doing. They're doing a fire sale up there in Queens. They've already traded Max Scherzer. Justin Verlin is going to be traded by tomorrow, late tomorrow afternoon. They spent so much money, the Mets, and it blew up in their face. And now they have to rebuild. They're getting younger. Why can't this team do the same thing? Cut your losses. Get younger. I'm for a rebuild. But man, it's a disaster up there in New York. It's a disaster up there in the Bronx. To shame too. I mean, so much hype on these prospects. Oswald Peraza, Everson Pereira, Jason Dominguez, Spencer Jones, Austin Wells. Let's see if these prospects can hang in the big leagues. And if they don't, they just overhype. So I gotta say about this team, man. Um, let me all know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, you gotta change. You have got to change. It's like what Owen Hart said at WrestleMania 14. I gotta play it here. It really is. It's time for a change. Yankee Mad Dog Messiah. I'm out. Oh, testify, my brothers and sisters.